welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW aka Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I am here today to share with you my top 20 foods of 2020 moving into 2021. These are staples that I have used to lose over 50 pounds on the WW program. These are the items that I gravitate towards, that I consume pretty much daily, and they are my top favorite foods for weight loss. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It lets me know what type of content to put out for you guys. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what types of videos you'd like to see moving into 2021. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you join my community. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it, and you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Definitely check out that description box down below where you're going to find links and discounts to a lot of the items that I share with you today. I will do my best to link everything in the description box for you. I also just released the first product of my new small business, Jen Clayton Nutrition, and that is a 2021 calendar. A essential item for 2021. It is fully customizable to you to track your goals on a monthly basis. It is only $15 plus free shipping within the US. So definitely check that out. The link to my nutrition coaching website is in the description box. You'll find the calendar, one-on-one -on -one 30 and 60 minute nutrition coaching sessions, and most importantly, the macro and calorie calculation that is personalized to you so you know where you should fall every day calorically and within your macronutrients. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. And last in the description box, you'll find my Facebook group. We are 17,000 members strong and growing, and we would love to have you be part of the community over there as well. So head on over and join us. So we have 20 of my very favorite staples for weight loss to go over. So let's jump in. excited for today's video. I actually put one of these out last year with my top 20 foods at that time. I'll link that down in the description box for you. Instead of holding up each item, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of each item. And again, everything will be linked down in the description box below. So food number one is bagels. Who doesn't love a good bagel? Whether that be for breakfast or a snack or even to make a really good bagel sandwich. Think turkey and cheese, ham and cheese. But bagels are high in calories, bagels are high in points, until I found Western Bagel. And this actually was one of my favorites last year as well and continues to remain one of my favorites. A full-size bagel ranges from two to three smart points and their miniature bagels are only one point. They're delicious, you can toast them up, warm them up, again, make a sandwich out of them. They're low carb, they're high in fiber. They're just an overall excellent choice if you're reaching for a bagel. Now let's talk chips. Who doesn't love a good, crunchy, salty chip? Again, chips can be made with questionable ingredients and very high in calories and points. Then pitos came into my life and I actually discovered these later in the year, but I love these chips. They're made from peas, but you would never know it. They have cheese curls in zesty ranch, fiery, kind of like a fiery Cheeto and a nacho cheese. And then they also have rings, fiery and the onion. Now the onion ring is a dupe for Funyuns, even better. So absolutely delicious. The bags of these chips range from two to four smart points for an entire bag. And what I love about them is they're single serve. So you can't overeat. You just grab a bag, throw it in your lunch, have it as a snack, and it just prevents you from continuing to reach into the bag and eating more chips. So highly recommend Pitos. They are absolutely absolutely incredible. The brand Good Foods has become one of my very favorites. They're a nice, clean food brand. They make a lot of dips and sauces with really, really good ingredients. And this year I fell in love with their plant-based queso. This is the best queso I have ever had. And before I transitioned over to a cleaner eating approach to WW, I ate a lot of the Tostitos queso, which I still love to this day. But if you want good ingredients in a delicious queso, the Good Foods plant-based one is amazing. Now it is a little bit on the pricey side, but again, it's really, really delicious and you can have two tablespoons for one point. The same as Tostitos, but with much better ingredients. And in my opinion, a little bit better authentic queso flavor. So in 2020, I discovered shopping for groceries at Target. I had never done grocery shopping at Target until this last year. And there are a few items sold exclusively for me at Target that I love. And these 
Partake cookies are one of those things. I had never seen these before. Come to find out, WW actually added a few of the seasonal flavors to the website. Now, I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I'll link them for you. But I buy these at Target. These Partake cookies are so good. They're gluten-free, but you would never, ever know. They come in several flavors. I would say that my absolute favorite is birthday cake. They're a pretty good-sized cookie, and they're only two smart points each, which is amazing for a cookie. My favorite by far again is the birthday cake. And I would say second to that is the chocolate chip. They're just really good. They have great ingredients and you can't beat two smart points for a cookie. Although I try to get most of my protein each day from natural food sources like meats and dairy and cheeses, I do have to have the occasional protein bar. Sometimes I'm on the go or I just need a quick, easy snack and protein bars fit that bill. Plus they help contribute to getting my protein goal in every single day. My favorite protein bar still are Bill Bars. I have loved these for several years now. I actually favorited these last year as well, but they have just gotten better and better. Mid 2020, they did a complete revamp of their bars. They changed their texture, their consistency, their packaging, and they've even come out with some really fun Built Bars like white chocolate, some milk chocolate bars, some little Built Bites. They even have a line of bone broth, Built Boost, which is a water enhancer, and it just keeps getting better and better. But their tried and true product, the Built Bar, is my favorite favorite protein bar. They range anywhere from about 110 calories to about 180 calories and from about three to five smart points. So you can't beat it. Protein 16 to 20 grams. So they're a great choice for on the go. They're affordable and I'll definitely link them down below with 10% off and free shipping for you. I've always been a fan of granola, but I kind of shied away from it just because it's very, very calorically dense and high in smart points. I did discover a brand of granola that I absolutely love. Now, don't get me wrong, it is still a bit high in smart points, but it is clean. It has perfection when it comes to ingredients and it's absolutely delicious. And that is the purely Elizabeth granola. I have to say that my very, very favorite hands down is their chocolate sea salt. I also love their blueberry hemp granola. What I like to do because it is high in calories and points is I just put a tablespoon or two on top of a cup of yogurt. I love the too good yogurt, the Dan and Light and Fit, Siggy's. I just pop a little bit of granola on the yogurt, adds about a point, under 30 calories, and it gives that little bit of a crunch. But I highly recommend Purely Elizabeth Granola. Now, an honorable mention, if you are wanting more granola for your calorie or points buck, you can pick up Julian Bakery Granola. Now, this is a low-carb, low-calorie, low-point granola. You can have a half of a cup for about two smart points. So depending on what you're after, it also contains really, really good ingredients, and again, is a little bit lower in carbohydrates. So I'll make sure to link both Purely Elizabeth and Julian Bakery in the description description box for you. Kind of like protein bars, every once in a while a good protein shake comes in handy. I do like to make profi, which is protein coffee, and sometimes I just want to have a protein shake. Another thing that I'll do is use this as the liquid base to a smoothie to add a good punch of protein to a smoothie. My favorite hands down protein shake on the market is Iconic Protein. It's a plant-based protein shake and it is delicious. It has excellent excellent ingredients, it's packed with protein, and it's affordable. So I absolutely am obsessed with Iconic. Now, I don't drink protein shakes daily or even weekly, but like I said, every once in a while, they come in handy for smoothies, Profi, or just to have a good protein shake to help you reach your protein goal. If you follow my channel, you know I love Trader Joe's. I shop there pretty much weekly, but my all-time favorite Trader Joe's product is their cauliflower gnocchi. This stuff is incredible. It is super low in smart points. It is clean, clean ingredients. It's healthy. It makes a fantastic side dish. I've been known to have the entire bag as a meal with a protein source. It is that good. You can pop it in your air fryer, pan fry it. There's a lot of options to cook up the gnocchi but it's a game changer. So if you have a Trader Joe's in your area, you can have an entire serving for only four smart points. So highly, highly recommend. Along the lines of protein bars and protein shakes, I tend to use protein powders more than any of the other items. Because again, I like to add protein powder to oatmeal to make proats, which is protein oatmeal. I use this all the time when I make a smoothie. I add a scoop or two for an extra bit of protein. Plus it blends very nicely with fruit, frozen vegetables, really whatever you add to your smoothie. My favorite protein powder is Live Well. Again, Live Well is a plant-based protein powder, but it's not your 
mama's plant-based protein powder. It has no chalkiness, no aftertaste. It is exquisite. There is vanilla, cacao, unflavored and coconut. You can't go wrong with any of the flavors. The vanilla is one smart point per scoop and the other three flavors are two smart points per scoop. Not only do they pack 17 grams to 23 grams of protein, per scoop, it's a complete protein. That is very different from the majority of protein powders on the market. A complete protein has all of its amino acids and chains intact. Livewell has that. So it makes it a really good protein option. It's going to give your body that same protein boost that a breast of chicken would. So it's an overall complete protein and Livewell tastes amazing. I mentioned topping my yogurt with granola and my favorite yogurt is Siggy. Siggy's is a clean yogurt. It's absolutely delicious. Now it is a little bit higher in points than your Dan and Light and Fits or even your Too Good yogurts, but it is full fat dairy, which is what I prefer. Your body just digests that differently. And when they remove fat and make dairy products low fat or fat free, they end up removing a lot of the nutrients in the process. So if I can get a full fat dairy product, especially yogurt, I like to do that. Siggy's is delicious. It ranges anywhere from three to five points per container. You can get the lower fat or the 0% Siggy's and it's only three smart points. It just has nice clean ingredients. It's thick, it's creamy, it's rich, it's my favorite yogurt hands down. Everyone needs a good chicken nugget in their life. And I have looked across the world, I feel like, for a good chicken nugget. And I discovered the Kid Fresh Nuggets. You heard me right. Kid Fresh Nuggets for kids. Not only are they the best chicken nuggets ever, they actually are made with vegetables. So you get a little punch of vegetable with your nugget. I don't know what it is about these. It's the breading. It's the chicken itself. They are so delicious. They're super low point. You can have five nuggets for four smart points. So what I'll do a lot of times is pop these in my air fryer or you can roast them in the oven or even pan fry them up. Shoot, you can even microwave them. I add them to salad. I use them as the protein in my meal. If I'm just really craving a breaded fried chicken, Kid Fresh Nuggets is where it's at. I want to talk sweets for a second. I'm a sweets lover. I have said that time and time on my channel. I definitely definitely love my sweets, but as we know, sugar really ups the point value of foods. Sugar actually ups the calories as well, but Smart Sweets has changed the game when it comes to candy. You can have an entire bag of candy for three Smart Points. They have everything from gummy bears in both fruity and sour, sweet fish, watermelon slices, which are my very, very favorite, licorice, gummy worms. They pretty much have all your favorite candies covered. I would say that my top two favorites are the peach rings and the watermelon bites. Both of those are so good. And again, you can eat the entire bag for three smart points. No guilt involved in eating an entire bag of candy. Let's revisit full fat or dairy for just a second. And I want to share my favorite cottage cheese. I get this question a lot. This is something I buy pretty much every week in my grocery haul. And that is the good culture cottage cheese. I don't know what good culture does, but their cottage cheese is the best on the planet. There's no liquid. It has has great flavor. It's nice and thick. It's small curd, which I prefer. Like I said, I don't know what they do, but they make the best cottage cheese hands down. I prefer the 4%. You can have an entire half of a cup for 110 calories or three smart points. They also offer a low fat version, which is in a light blue container. You can have an entire half of a cup of that for two points. It's the exact same points as other cottage cheese, but there's something about good culture that makes it a 10 out of 10, a million out of 10. One of my favorite meal replacement products when I'm on the go and I just need something to completely replace a meal are the healthy eating all the time and go bars. She's a very small business. She's one of the nicest people I have ever met and her bars are literal perfection. They have perfectly clean ingredients. Now they don't pack a ton of protein unless you get her protein version, which is delicious as well, but anywhere from nine to 15 grams of protein, they range from six to seven smart points. So I use them as a meal replacement bar, not necessarily as a snack. My favorite favorites are the chocolate granola bar, the cranberry, and also her protein chia bar. It is 
out of this world. She again is a small business, so I'll link her down below. I do have a discount code for her. Definitely check out her website and support a small business. One of my other favorite ways to get in protein is meat sticks. I love them, but I'm very cautious about my meat stick options. Some of them are dry, some of them taste a little weird, but I discovered Nick's sticks, and I actually found these at my local natural grocer store. They are a little bit on the expensive side, so when I ran out of the ones I purchased there, I went on to Amazon and found them bulk um, at a much more affordable price. My very, very favorite are the turkey. You actually get both sticks in the pack for 75 calories. They have 10 grams of protein and two points. You can't beat it. They're delicious, they're satisfying, they're filling. They also have a chicken and a beef. I have not tried the beef. I have tried the chicken and I just didn't find it to be as flavorful as the turkey. So I highly recommend the turkey sticks, Nick sticks in the green package. I wanna talk about two more of my favorite sweet things that I discovered this year. First are the Clio bars. So these are basically cheesecake wrapped in chocolate. I'm not kidding, they are that absolutely delicious. They are a Greek yogurt bar covered in chocolate. They're found in the refrigerated section by the yogurt. I actually get this question a lot. They're not found in the freezer section. They're not found where the produce is. They're found right next to the yogurt. They have full-size Clio bars for 140 calories and six smart points. They even have mini Clio bars. They are only two smart points and 60 calories. What I love about these is it satisfies the sweet tooth, but it also gives you some protein because it's made with Greek yogurt. I find these at Walmart and you can also order them off of the Clio website. This year they came out with a lower sugar option in a mixed berry flavor and a peach flavor. These particular Clio bars are only three points versus six points for a full size bar. Highly recommend if you love cheesecake and sweetness, you're going to love the Clio bars. And the other sweet thing I wanna share with you are JoJo's chocolates. I originally discovered these at Costco. They were on a coupon, so I picked them up. These are amazing. They have really, really nice, clean, clean ingredients. My very favorite is the original followed by the peanut butter. They are so good. A full size bar, and it's the size of a candy bar, is seven smart points. What I will generally do is I will break it in half and have half of it for three points. They do sell bites for three points as well on the JoJo's Chocolate website. I've ordered from them before really fast turnaround time and they do have other flavors of the jojo's chocolates as well as the full-size bars and the bites you can't beat them they're absolutely delicious and a full-size bar if you choose to eat the whole thing is 180 calories another one of my favorite ways to get in my protein is sausages i like these because they're pre-cooked so they're really fast and easy to make for a meal my favorite hands down is the sam's choice chicken and apple sausage. This is the Walmart brand of Sam's Choice. These sausages are clean. They're actually Whole30 approved. That's how clean the ingredients are. They are so good. It's a huge, huge sausage for 110 calories and only two points, an entire full-size sausage. These are so good. I like to chop these up, cook them up in a pan with some eggs. I've even been known to pop them into my air fryer. These are incredible. They are a little bit hard to find. I find them very hit and miss at my Walmart, but if you can get your hands on these, stock up because they freeze absolutely beautiful and they are the best fully cooked sausage for calories, points, and ingredients. Let's talk crackers. I love a good cracker, especially with cheese and meat or to dip. My favorite cracker I discovered just a few months ago at, again, Walmart. These are the Stone Fire, the same company that makes the non bread. They make a delicious non bread and non dippers. Well, they make a non cracker, and these are so, so good. My favorite is the garlic, and you can have a huge handful of crackers for about four smart points. I love, again, to make meat, cheese, and crackers as a meal. I love to dip these crackers into dip. And actually, speaking of dip, this will round out number 20 for the 2020 list, and that is the La Terrafina Spinach Parmesan Artichoke Dip. Oh my goodness. We are obsessed with this dip in this family. I found it this summer at Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. I bought a very small container. We took it camping. We ate the entire small container in one day. It is so good. It is made from Greek yogurt, so it's packed with a little bit of protein, nice, clean, clean ingredients, and the best part is it's 50 calories for two tablespoons or one 
Smart Point. I love to dip those non-crackers in the La Terrafina dip. I also will use the dip for spreads on sandwiches and wraps in place of mayonnaise because again, two tablespoons, one point. I found this at Costco. Now we all know that things kind of come and go at Costco, but they sell a big, big container of it for about $9. So if you have a Costco in your area, that's going to be the most affordable option. I promise you will eat the entire container. We love this dip so much. My husband actually asks for it when I make my Costco list. So definitely check out Costco. You can definitely find this at the Kroger chain of grocery stores. So those are my top 20 foods for 2020 leading into 2021 for easy weight loss success. Again, these are staples. These are foods that I eat daily, weekly, that I'm literally obsessed with. These are my very, very favorite things. They help keep me on track, stay within my calories and points, and hit my protein goal. Again, I will link everything down in the description box for you. And don't forget to check out my nutrition coaching website. Get your hands on my custom 2021 calendar game changer for 2021 when it comes to reaching your goals. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. We'd love to have you join that community as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And again, don't forget to join my community here on YouTube. I would absolutely love to have you and hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. I do upload videos five to six days a week so you don't wanna miss out. Thank you so much for spending some time with with me today. Let's make 2021 the best year ever. And I'll see you guys in my next video.